Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Court Farms Limited. This is the first look at the map, which is going to be on console as well before anybody asks. It's going to be on PC and console, coming soon, possibly <laughs> very soon. I, uh, all I know is that it's been submitted to Giants for testing. That's all the information I have. Uh, some of you will have played this map in FS15. This is pretty much the same map. It has been converted by sitting here. It's originally by Body Back. And uh, <clears throat> there are some minor floaty things, it, it would appear. Uh, but all the bumps here are intentional, I've been assured. <laughs> this is the main yard. This is where you spawn in. I didn't move at all. I haven't changed any of the machinery. This is just... Everything is completely stock. I've got all my mods disabled, so... I'm probably going to shoot backwards at some point, because I've forgotten that I don't have drive control on. So we'll start off by having a look at the default equipment. So you start off with a New Holland T5 with a front loader attacher. Uh, the 3 meter Great Plains Cedar, which starts off with some seeds and fertilizer, actually. That's interesting. <coughs> Something I haven't seen much of is people starting with cedars that actually have fill levels. Um, this looks interesting. Is this using the... What the? Oh, I think he screwed up the trigger there and made it glidable. I think that trigger might not be... Well, that trigger isn't usable, and I... Th if I had to guess the same thing has happened over here, yes. So, the triggers accidentally have collisions turn on. I'll be telling sitting here about that uh, as soon as I'm finished. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, is the same true of the sheds? Nope, the sheds do have the correct triggers. As you can see, they're just... Hopefully with full tip calls and all that. Uh, just generic storage sheds with some grain drying equipment in there. Uh, I'm not going to open up the canola wheat one because it's presumably the same. Nice bit of, nice bit of clutter here, actually. I haven't, I haven't seen many people use excavators as clutter like this before. That's interesting. Continue on looking at the starter equipment. You start off with the Agroliner trailer. The new Hurleyman, which I've heard people saying that not many people are using. Um, new Hurleyman. The Fent. Uh, I think this might be a 700. Or is it a 300? 724. The stove front loader. Now on TC5 combine header and header trailer. And I saw some stuff over here. The... Is this the... The horse... Uh, cultivator. There should be a plow somewhere, as plowing is now pretty integral to the game. I'd hope there's a plow somewhere. Might have missed it already. And oh, oh, that's nice. A little horse-drawn trailer with court farms or not? Is that all the starter equipment? I'm just going to double check. Uh, there's also a massive 5600 dotted somewhere around the map. A full array of front loader tools that you'll probably need. A bucket, pallet, fork, and bale spike. They're the basics, really. Uh, there is no plow, which could be seen by some as an oversight. Uh, what's the fastest tractor I have? It's probably going to be the Fent. Do you know what? Just because I've been told not many people use the Hurleyman, I'm actually going to use it for this first look. So let's head out of the yard here. And I'm going to be using the PDA map because I'm in no way familiar with this map. I didn't replay it on FS15. There's the front loader tools. Which means presumably the way out of the yard is over here. Nice dirt roads that are maybe a bit too wide. Um, that's easily done in GE, gonna be honest. Uh, looks like over here is a nice big forestry area. Oh, quite a big forestry area. Okay, a huge forestry area with the chickens. Come down this road and you find another shed. Seems to be no shortage of storage on this map, so people who do like their storage will be very happy. And I should show off the PDA map as well, because there's only 22 fields on the map. 26, 28, 29, 30 fields. Um, 
they're quite large fields, so field two over here, where's field two? That's field two, is in grass, and it is, that's probably field three. The PDA map does seem to disagree with where you actually are on the map, which is a minor shame. So I'm guessing this over here is in fact field two, which is also in grass. <laughs> And potatoes at the same time. Interesting. <laughs> that's inter that's gonna cause problems. Um, need the PDA map so I can see where I'm going. It is a nice map. I mean, I, I like the fact that they're using giant's grass, and I, I really sincerely hope there is a a little Easter egg hidden in the grass somewhere. With the um, for those of you that didn't know, the map makers can put hide Easter eggs in in maps in the grass by uh, changing a file. I will check in a moment if missions are working. But actually it looks like the disagreement with the PDA map, just looking at that icon on the map compared to where it is in, in game, is actually an issue in Giant's Engine. This over here is the cow yard. So what I'll do is I'll hop out and come over here, let's have a look. Looks like you're just gonna let's see you got some fuel, some seeds. Uh, does that see if have a trigger? It does. If you're wondering how I get to see that, uh, I use, I'm using the dev console and F5 to get that up. Um, it is a very bumpy map, to say the least. There's, you know, there's very little flat space, so your placeables might not be a good idea. It's a very, quite, uh, it's quite a basic cow yard. Is that fertilizer? Nitrophosphate, that's fertilizer. Yes, I did read German, translated to English immediately. Yes, I can't speak German. Um, <laughs> some people get surprised when I do actually start speaking German and reading German into English. Um, but yes, I can I can do that. There's an old style grass hill point and a black hole bale. There should be up over here somewhere. A, I actually want to check if missions are working. Remember when I said I'm probably going to shoot off backwards at some point because I forget about uh, drive control? That was me forgetting about driving control and just driving into something that was solid. Um, but I will be letting sitting here know about the minor... Mi they are minor things, it's something that can be fixed in literally 10 seconds or less in GE. Um, minor issue with the triggers at the main yard. Uh, pretty much immediately when I'm done recording. And missions, it looks like they don't work on this map. Which is a slight shame. It could just be that there's no mission available for that field specifically. Because um, it is a very oddly shaped field. Let's have a look at and see is there anything that might be Giants friendly. Field 1. So that'll be up over here somewhere as I drive apparently across field 6, which is just the PDA map disagreeing with the game for whatever reason. Um, to find field one. Some of these fields I don't know where the actual buy points are, so... It could be that you buy the map and install it in, like, in areas. So that's field two, that's the potato grass. Not quite sure what's going on there. Um, but in game, like, when you're in game, you'll probably mow that, uh, get some silage out of it, and then cultivate it under anyway, so... Not a big deal. Do the hedges. So I haven't tested this. Do the... Well, that's not a hedge. Where on earth is the buy point? It's over there. Now, of course, I find something with collisions. Can I get through this barbed wire? No, that does have collisions. Right. Um, oh, there's... I can see a for sale sign over there, I think. Um, that's something that has a light on the... Sh I maybe shouldn't. Uh, we are now up at the very, very top of the map. And this is... Oh yeah, that's... Easily fixed as well, actually. That's That sign has a light on that it shouldn't. This is the grain store. So, we'll, so this will be your sell point. Any little set piece in there? No. So it's just a sell point with some seed triggers. And a fuel trigger by the looks of it. Where is... 
be good. Whoop, 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 whoop. Don't fall down that hill, Dave. Uh, I actually need to get back to the. Do you know what? I'm going to teleport. Uh, I don't have the vehicle. I don't have a teleportation mod, but what I do have is the default in game stuff. So I'm going to teleport around the fields real quick and see if any of them do have missions. I didn't ask if they do, so I don't know. I probably should have asked. Uh, but you do start off with one, two, one, two, three, four, five fields, and it does in fact look. Yeah, what it looks like is if there's been a, a minor mistake, and field two there has potato texture when it shouldn't, because um, there's no potatoes seeded there. Uh, just used the presumably potato, potato texture as a placeholder while uh, the map was being converted. Where's the hurdyman? Oh, well, here's the T. There's the Massey at the wood cell point, which is kind of convenient. I hope that's not the water plane. I think it is. Um, it's not a complaint. That's something I've, I've just noticed of uh, my own accord. And can you send the train off? Is there a train? Hmm. Doesn't look like there's a train. Which, it's not a big deal. Uh, ooh. Okay. The cell point is apparently... Why is the cell point called? Sawmill. The cell point is actually... I think the water is the cell point. So let's get back into the Hurleyman and continue our little trip around the map. Now if I look across, it is... A really, really nice looking map. It looks quite spectacular. And, oh! I remember being told... I can't remember who by, and I wish I could give them a shout out for this. I remember being told there was a map that you... I see what the problem is. I see exactly what the problem is. The... the um, something's got confused in GE. And given all the cultivated or seeded texture, potato texture. That is funny. That is it's unfortunate to say the least. Um, I remember somebody, and I can't remember who's saying that there was a, a map for 15 that had a field, ro uh, a road running through the middle of a field. It was this map. And it's such a beautiful little thing. It's something that most people wouldn't think of because there's not many places where that would even happen. And, oh, hang on, this field over here looks like it might have missions. These look like missionable fields. Do they have missions? No mission available currently. And if I'm right about the unfortunate GE accident... Yes, there is. there has been an unfortunate accident in GE which has made all the crops into magic potatoes. Um, there is traffic on the map, although that guy appears to have some suspension issues. Um, I mean, let's see if I can find where are the pigs, uh, sheep, animal by point. Oh, the pigs are down. Oh, wow, I haven't even looked at anywhere near half the map yet. It is a bit of a shame that the PDA, oh, I see what's happened. I see what happened. It's a relatively easy fix. Um, I'll, I'll. I should say, this is not out yet. It should be out soon, but not yet. It is with Giants for testing. And uh, I'll be giving some of my thoughts that I'm not sharing uh, in this video to uh, Sitting Here, who is doing the conversion. And just let him know uh, the few things that I found. A few things that I found that... Uh, one is a different fit fix. The issue with the PDA map is it's zoomed out slightly too much, so it's not matching up with what's on screen. That is a very, very simple fix. Um, and it's it's not a big deal. And this looks like another cell point. The issue... <laughs> the issue with the signs is kind of hilarious. Um, again, not a big deal, but it just looks funny. And a bit weird. Where do I want to go from here? Actually, I actually want to go up this way. To the sheep. Have a look at the sheep yard. Over here is... Oh, this is the shop! 
This is the... Oh, that's an interesting way of doing it. I would ne... Well. Yeah, I wouldn't have really thought of doing it like this. That's an interesting shop. Complete with fuel point and... There looks to be some seeds and biomass heating plant. That is very interesting indeed. And if I'm right, directly across the road from the shop, which has non-collidable gates because presumably triggers weren't working on it, this is the animal buy point. Estate agents, auctioneers, valuers. This has to be where you buy the animals. Surely. Yes, this is the animal auction. And... Looks like you can buy the animals... Yeah, you can buy the animals there, which is very, very nice. And you can sell them there as well. So let's continue up towards the sheep uh, pen. I should say I will be playing on this map um, for a little while. Um... Not in videos, but I'll be streaming it uh, period... Uh, what am I trying to say? Dave, get the words out. I will be streaming it for a little while just to let you guys have a good look around and, and see what's going on and test it. Because um, as, as you can see, it is... It's finished, and it's just got minor, 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 minor problems. There's nothing completely game-breaking here. It's just little, little, little things that... Um, It's, they're very easy to pick up on in game, but can be very easily missed. And it's not a criticism, it's just, you know, it's one of these things where you look at the map in Giant's Editor and it looks fine, and then you bring it into game and, oh, this is slightly off, and this is slightly off, and this, you know, it's, it, it's not a big deal. And if you guys watch Landy Kid, you'll see them um, testing uh, Sandy Bay for Oxygen David, and he's come across some stuff as well. It, it's one of these things that just happens with maps. Um, I really like the distance. I really like what he's done with the distance here, though. Um, that is really nice. So the sheep should be up here somewhere, hopefully. <laughs> Assuming I've not taken a wrong turn anywhere, we should be heading towards the sheep. And I'm doing my best to show off all the map, but kind of give my thoughts at the same time. It's not a case of... You know, I am trying to balance stuff. And I do apologize if I miss anything, or... If you guys want to see something else... At some point, let me know when I'm streaming it, and I can... Uh, grab something quick and run off to that point, or teleport over there or something. So this is where your sheep will be, on the map. Uh, that's where the wool pallets are spawning. That could cause issues if it's... Yeah, that could cause issues. Um, and here's the water and grass troughs. And... Yeah. I'm gonna have to... Take, I'm gonna have to drive around the map again after this video and just take a few notes. Um, just, just for feedback purposes. Not complaining. Oh, I mean, it, you know, it's great to see new maps, and um, I've seen people on forums saying, oh, well, why is this map taking so long to test? Because maps take a while to test. It's not a case of, you know, you upload the map to Giants, and Giants say, okay, well, this can go on the mod hub now. It's a case of, you upload the map to Giants, or to give it to testers, and they say, oh, well... It's great, but this could be improved, this could be improved, this could be improved, you know, it, it's never a case, and there's really a case where a map is perfect on the first go. And the worst thing about maps is that the niggly little things are the last things that get picked up. Um, and a lot of what I'm seeing is just niggly little things that... Um, very easy to see, but and very easily fit. Easy to fix, you know. It's not. It's not as if the map is completely unplayable. And honestly, this is going to sound a bit blunt, but who really cares about missions? Tunnel routes. Where's that in relation to where I am? So it'll be up here and to the right. So this is going to be your 
Presumably... John Taylor and Company. There's the sawmill. Is this tunnel roots or is this something else? This is just a little set piece. Okay. Around I go and out to go. So the sawmill is a nice little area actually. Um, oh. Over each stage of the map. Okay. Apparently I was on the wrong road there. Is that tunnel roots up there? Or. I'm completely lost at this point. Unfortunately, the PDA being slightly off means that it, the more you move around on it, the more you're going to get lost. This must be the way down to tunnel roots. And, ooh, this is steep. Good luck getting down here in a semi trailer because this, it is just going to launch. So this is presumably the potato and beet cell point, I would imagine. With it being called roots, tunnel roots, you can set everything here, okay. Um... Well, the spinnery currently has a great demand for for wool for some reason. And is that another case of a, an accidentally solid trigger? If I get a bit of speed up... That is a trigger with the plane slightly too high. Again, niggly little thing. Um, it, and... Uh, it's hard for me to, to describe exactly what, what I'm seeing, because all of these are kind of... They're not game-breaking things at all. I mean, yes, solid triggers are a pain, but they're easily fixed. Yes, having uh, bits of grass in the middle of the road is a pain, like just over there, but it's easily fixed. I mean, if you wanted to, in-game, you could roll over it with a roller and it could be fixed. It's that easily fixed. It's, you know, it's not a big deal. But I know, and I think everybody else knows, and you know, that there's going to be people who play these maps who are absolute perfectionists, like uh, I was at one point in FS15, where you know, I was complaining about the little tiny things. And, um, well, yes, the tiny things are things that can be picked up on, and you know, oh, this could be better, that could be better. It's it's not a big deal that they're not perfect. And, um... The way... This is a cell point... This is the spinnery, actually, over here. So I've got the... <laughs> it's actually why I've got the PDA map so big. And you can also sell your eggs at Countrywide. As well as buy your pallets of... Probably pop... I think poplars you can buy there, and fir trees for making your forests. And speaking of forests, we're heading into another one apparently. Uh, down by fields 29 and 30, which is our fields that you own. Oh, you have to buy the forests! That's different. I've just copped what was going on there. You have to buy the forests. But if I take this turn off to the right here, this extremely wide... This is a very generous gravel path. Um... If I head down here, we'll get to the pigs. I will head over to uh, W.M. Evans' grain store in a moment as well. I'll try and cut across a couple of fields if I can. If not, I'll teleport over there and have a look. Um, I will say the fields on here, this is very much a map that... There's the pigs. Why was, that? Why was I going to say field? Dave, these are pigs, not fields. Um, very nice gates in this map as well. Good, uh, I think it's a good choice of gates. Uh, seems to be all double gates. So the pigs are here, you can pretty much do everything with them. I mean, th this is fully functional as far as an FS17 map goes. Um, yes, it doesn't have missions, but with fields as big as what you have, I mean, field 14 is quite large, field 4 is pretty mammoth. Field 20 is is probably quite big as well. I mean, you look at the, the smaller fields on the map and they're still big fields in comparison to uh, the likes of Goldcrest Valley and, and Sosnovka. Well, not Goldcrest Valley. Well, actually Goldcrest Valley. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, some of these fields would, would dwarf the bigger fields on Goldcrest. So, maybe a map for bigger equipment. Maybe a map for multiplayer. Um, 
but definitely, you know, something you can play about on a lot. And something you can... Something that... It, the, the way that it is, you can get a lot of enjoyment out of it. I'm just making sure that I don't actually miss my turn off. That looks like corn growing there in field 20. So a nice mix of crops, even. Uh, the one little niggly, niggly thing that always irks me when somebody gives you corn as a starter crop. If, and this isn't me complaining, this is just like something that I would do myself. If you're giving corn as a starter crop, and you're a map maker, if you're giving corn as a, a crop in a field you want from the start, please give the players a corn header. Because otherwise all they're going to be able to do is go in and... I'm guessing that's corn. That could actually be... Where's the map overview? Yeah, that is corn. If you're giving players corn, please give them a corn header, because otherwise they can't use it. So this is WM Evans, and I have a sneaking suspicion this might suffer from the invisible trigger and or uh, fill plane too high issue again. So if I just hit a 5, and yep, fill plane is just a smidge too high. So you'll have a bit of trouble getting your trailers in here. Um, but again, that's easily fixed. I've got it on light mode. <sighs> Going around the map and having a look around it, I would really recommend and, and suggest you definitely have a look at the map. Uh, when it comes out, which... Ooh. I'm guessing there was something in there with collisions that I didn't know about. <laughs> that was a... Ooh. My driving takes full control of everything. Wonderful. Um, I'm guessing there was something in there with collisions, because that was a game glitch. And hang on, is a bit of this corn more... Mm. I think the hedges might actually have collisions. Uh, can I find a bit that's just hedge? Right over here. Aha! The hedges have collisions. I approve. I always like maps that have hedges with collisions, because it means you can't take silly little shortcuts. Um, this is a map that, uh, when it comes out, I would definitely recommend that maybe should have a gate, because who's going to leave their field open to the main road like that? Is that bit of corn over there more fully grown than the rest, or is it just a... Uh, where did I see it? Yeah, it's just over here. This could just be a texture issue, or it could be that... What is this? Yeah, it's a small little patch that's more fully grown than the rest. Um, but the size of this map, I would advise you you download it, you check it out when it does come out. Um, I'll be playing on it for a little while, and you might see you more than likely see it on the channel for a little while uh, in one shape, way, shape, or form. It maybe could do with some tweaks, yeah. But um, I'll definitely be showing it off to you guys and letting you guys see what the deal is. I'm giving you guys a good look at the map before it does come out, um, if it doesn't come out today. Because obviously if it comes out today, I can't give you guys a good look at the map before it comes out. Um, but I'll be giving, uh, sitting here, some feedback on the little improvements that I think should be could be made, and I don't think sh they should be. Uh, some of them maybe, well, one of them, the, the, the trigger with collisions, that's a, probably should be, ooh. I may have fallen out of the map. Okay, that's that's okay. I obviously hit something in there that I shouldn't have. This? Yeah. Maybe don't try and drive in there. Just as a, a word of advice. That was me being stupid. Don't do that. It's a Rainbow Dave top tip right there. Don't 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 do what Dave does. Don't do what Dave do. Let's just do some rock. Yep. Yeah. Farm some physics. Perfect. Um. Uh, ooh. Pretty. What's this? What is this? Oh my god, is this an old mill? With a... It's a half-completed restoration of what looks to be an old mill. I think. 
maybe. It's definitely an old farm building. That's really cool. It's even got a little into Oh my god, please tell me these have... It looks like they should have a trigger on them, but they don't. That'd be something awesome if you could drive your vehicles in there. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you got any concerns or any anything that you saw that you think maybe could be improved, I, for one, will be giving some feedback for to uh, sitting here directly. But there is a support topic on FSUK and the map will hopefully be uh, available for download on console and PC very, very soon indeed. But until then, I've been Rainbow Dave, you've been watching my first look at Court Farms 17. Court Farms Limited 17, even. Until next time, stay safe, and goodbye.